When we think about AAA, what are the three A's? Authentication, authorization, and accounting. I want you to remember those. Now, if I'm at the professional level in Cisco for routing and switching, I'm going to focus on authentication first and foremost by a mile. But if you want to bake in to your configuration, authorization, and accounting, let's give you a little of exposure to how to do this. And I'm going to say a little exposure and not a huge amount. So here we see the structure for configuring AAA authorization. Now, what authorization type are we talking about here? We're talking about for getting access to character mode to execute commands. We can specify a list. Where do we challenge and get the information that says what a user can and cannot do? Now, Radius and TACTX Plus servers are a great place to indicate where that or what that user can do. So once you get authorized, or excuse me, once you get authenticated, you can be authorized. And we can even be discrete down to the individual commands that can be executed by an individual user. Type in a command, server goes out, checks, can they do that command, comes back and accepts it or rejects it. Okay, so at this point we're talking about uh, doing this on maybe our VTY lines or a console line. Authorization, and you can say commands. So this is the root of the structure. I would say enough to make you dangerous, not enough to configure anything fully for authorization. But I want you to understand the high level point. Same can be done for accounting. What are you doing accounting for? Are you doing accounting for uh, for access? Usually what we do is start stop, which is anytime something is turned on or something is turned off. And so the you know the key players in a AAA accounting config, AAA accounting, what type of accounting are you doing? Let's actually take a look. What type of accounting are you doing? Is it for the exec process? Is it for connecting to the network via 802.1x authentication? For exec shell commands? Okay, so that's the sort of thing that we can do. Then we give it a name. I almost always do start stop. And then where are we relaying our information? That's, you know, we could do it to the radius and TACX plus. And then we tie that to an interface. So if we say, hey, we're doing AAA for PPP, you would go to the interface, PPP accounting, and reference the method list. So again, we're just giving you a little bit to be dangerous here because the world is such a complex place. I mean, think about this as one teeny tiny nook and cranny of the sort of things we can do for AAA accounting and for AAA authentication, excuse me, authorization. <laughs> so for authorization and accounting, just understand there's a whole world out there and we're just trying to whet your appetite for it.